to beat down two. We're in the cage with Core MMA. This next bout is a lightweight amateur MMA bout. Representing Core MMA. Give it up for Jesse O'Brien. Here he is, folks, entering the ring, Jess O'Brien. His opponent this evening fighting out of the red corner. Also representing core MMA. Make some noise for Lloyd Jarrett. Here he is, ladies and gentlemen, Lloyd Jarrett. <laughs> this bout is scheduled for three times, three minute rounds of MMA action, elbow strikes, knees to the head, spinal or rotational lead locks are prohibited. Cool, and I'm here with uh, Nick Allen from the Jiu Jitsu Super Fight. How are you feeling, Nick? Uh, good, man. Had a chance to recover. I was, uh, was looking forward to watching some good fights tonight. Yeah, it's definitely. Awesome so far. A lot of novices on uh, tonight's show, and we've got two lightweights, both coming in very short notice. Um, Jesse's original opponent didn't make it to the win, and so Lloyd Jared. Uh, stepped up on a single day's notice Good um, to take the uh, take the fight and save the card. So very exciting to see what he's going to bring to the table. Um, both of his brothers have been New Zealand representatives at the amateur worlds. Round one. All right. Uh, Lloyd there in the rash guard and the venom shorts as well, and Jesse with the black venom shorts. Oh, nice jab. Sizing each other up here to start. Ooh. Jarrett family come from a bit of a boxing background as well, so you should be able to see that uh, in Lloyd's striking style. Um, yeah. 
with Jesse kind of being a bit more um, all-rounder from the start. So we'll see where he mixes those picks into. All right, see how he fares, see if he needs to work at grappling. Body lock with his hands together. All right. Oi, can he get behind? Ooh. Well, it's turning back in, defending nicely. But good signs from Jesse, though. It means he's aware of the grappling, like he's looking for those opportunities. So these fighters are back to a three, three minute format as well um, under the regular New Zealand amateur MMA rules. Make it very more uh, interesting him to pace himself a bit more than those one five minute sprints. Hey? Absolutely. And that could be a big factor in this fight, too. Neither of the guys having a uh, very long period to prepare, so conditioning could definitely play into this match. It's between rounds when they tell you to stand up, especially on the ground, you stop and you go, oh, I'm really tired. <laughs> yeah. Ooh, another standing guillotine. Seen a few of those tonight. Yeah. The Jarrett brothers have an annual championship between themselves to see who can actually submit the others. Ah, good uh, generally it takes place in a lounge or a, or a <laughs> hotel room. Um, and quite a lot of the time, their favorite technique is actually to catch them when they're tired of the sneaky guillotine. All three of them love that, that setup. See, my brother doesn't want to fight me anymore. It's really weird. Oh, here we go. Oh, he, nice escape for Jesse. Now he's got the top position. Controlling that posture well. Oh, he's lost that overhead now. Yeah, the boxer perhaps not as skilled and moving when he's on the ground trying to lock him down. Perhaps look for a stand up. Good timing. Nice pass. Kill that knee. There we go. End of round one. Oh, round. That was. How would you score that one, Nick? Pretty even. I would potentially give the uh, give the round to potentially Jesse for the top position. Although there was a couple of close sub attempts here as well. What do you think, Carlo? That's an interesting one. That one. I, um, I think Lloyd really brought some good pressure initially, and like you said, a couple of good uh, good moments there. But yeah, I think I might have to agree. By the end, Jesse taking the top position. Um, maintaining the control there to finish uh, probably the, the right way to end the round for him as well. Absolutely. Always thinking of that timing and finishing the round on top. Good old uh, George St. Pierre was a good man for that. Yeah, absolutely. Now Lloyd actually uh, does have a little bit of an amateur wrestling background real early in his high school um, career, so it could be interesting to see whether Seconds he out. shoot in this round or not and tries to take the top control himself. Hamilton boy wrestling for the Hawks, what do you think? I believe so. I believe that was the case, yeah. Um, running off memory here um, and some stories from the, from the other Jarrett brothers, um, <laughs> Lloyd was the most athletic in their family uh, growing up and was talented as a wrestler. And then I believe he got uh, a serious illness, something like glandular fever, sidelined him for about a year. Mm. And Round then two. other brothers all caught up and then, uh, in their words, uh, surpassed him at that point. <laughs> But apparently he was quite the demon of the family to start with. Definitely good city has come back from that. Then you know it'd be easy to easy to quit. Oh, I'm and, sick, but and, he's back on it. And here we go. We got a friend a wheel kick coming out there, spinning wheel kick. Style points. I think Lloyd knows what the dreads as well, and this seems like a joke, but I believe he also did a little bit of capoeira quite early on as well. Ah. He does have some unusual stand-up styles, which he mixes up quite nicely with his boxing skills. Yeah, there's always something to gain from the from every martial art has something to bring to the table, right? Yeah, it's absolutely. Gonna take the things that work and add it to your tool set. Yeah, and if nothing else, I think just the rhythm side of it and the coordination, you know, it's all gonna cross translate nicely. Rhythm and coordination very foreign words to me, <laughs> mate. Hands dropping it down a bit from these um, short notice fires, potentially getting a bit more tired. It's funny we say that the hands dropping down and the legs are coming up. <laughs> <laughs> so 
So Lloyd switched into southpaw stance. What do you think that's telling you? Uh, I switch to southpaw when I get tired. Oh, that's a really interesting thing. Oh, there we go, and a great shot. And we've got a hook in. See if you can control that distance. There we go, yeah, full mount now. So, oh, a good start of a reversal there. He almost got him off that. Yeah, watch that arm. Full mount with your arm around your mate's head. If you can isolate that and move to the side, it could be an arm lock set up, shoulder lock. Good maintaining top position there. So important top position when you've got these strikes on the ground there. Eh? You think the fatigue sort of sits setting in, Luke? Boy, oh. that was nice. Bit of razzle dazzle in the second. Absolutely. Very interesting uh, way of escaping that back control there. And a good guard recovery too. Look at this. Back to the full guard. Nice work. And opening and using as well now. Yeah, look. So and look, he might be sitting for the triangle. Round. And Ooh, here in fact, can he grab his shin? If he can grab his shin, he can lock this up. This could be it. He needs to break that posture down if he wants to look at finishing that triangle. Cage is making it a bit too hard to move. Another finishing another round on top here. Yeah, I think with a little bit more preparation, Time, end I of round could have two. maybe had, had a little bit more to go to in that uh, very dangerous sort of triangle position that he actually managed to set up there. Yeah, always always hard coming in. Short nose, you haven't been drilling anything super sharp. Yeah, absolutely. Just to go in and see where your base is. Boom, there we go. Big overhand left. I'd have to say, I think uh, Lloyd might be getting the better of these striking exchanges. A few good kicks in there, and the, the punches do seem to be hitting the mark as well. Yeah, absolutely. As we see, grappling maybe a bit of a different story. Yep. Yeah, absolutely. Really in danger with that arm out there like that. Seconds out. All right, we'll see if Lloyd's got enough left in the tank to come back and take this out in the third round. Go through the kitchen. Third and final time, round. See what he's got. Last round. Let's see what these guys have got. Definitely a bit, of a bit of fatigue showing here. No one want to engage and then get back to that struggle. Again, some very nice, unusual, unorthodox sort of striking from Lloyd there as well. Throwing up something you might not necessarily expect. Those uh, front kicks to the face been on the rise, eh? Hey, I think someone done that again recently. Yeah. <laughs> Saw this on the weekend. Yeah, making headlines for sure. We'll see if Lloyd gets a second wind in this round as well. You can see a bit of pressure from Lloyd this round. Good, nice jab. got to give it up to him though this is you know this has been a good fight so far again yeah. Lloyd coming in on a single day's notice and uh, not actively training um so uh, he's doing well he's definitely gritting it out got to respect the game like that right let's get in there see what you got have some fun there we go there we go it's getting that range right big shot and a good sprawl too. He's going to try and make use of this top position now. Do you think another guillotine attempt might be coming in here? I'd like to see him pass. Oh no. Good body kick.
But uh, what was that? Capoeira coming to play there? I'll have to see that again on the replay, actually. Beg your pardon, you said it was Jesse with the Capoeira? Uh, no, Lloyd, Lloyd with the okay. Capoeira background, yeah. That mount back. He's moving to the S mount already. Can Lloyd pop out now? Out the back door underneath that leg. 10 seconds. Right at the end of the bell. It's an unfortunate way to finish the round, actually. I think uh, I would have had Lloyd winning the striking exchanges earlier in the round. Time! A big round of applause for these round. amateur MMA okay, warriors! Definitely got the better of those striking exchanges, though. You're right. A lot of respect between the two boys as well. Great fight. Lots of love between the team up here at the moment. But anyway. Right to the body, but that's eating one back changes, on. right? Yeah. Definitely, definitely getting the point oh. for that. <laughs> Always what? interesting to see what they come out with. All right, ladies round, and right? gentlemen, the Absolutely. judges Let's score cards are in. They scored this bout a unanimous decision. Winner, fighting out of the blue corner, Jess O'Brien! There we go, the grappling of Jesse O'Brien taking him through. Well, one against Lloyd bring it in, Lloyd. Bring it in, mate. Come on here. Uh, just let us know how that, how was that for your first amateur bout in the MMA cage in front of all your friends and family. Far, well, pretty bloody tough to be honest. Didn't have a training camp. Got hit up this morning. See if I wanted to do a fight. So I was like, fuck yeah, I'll do it. But yeah, that is what it is. Yeah. Well, congratulations, son, and commiserations, of course, for getting in the ring. Well done. Big round of applause for Lloyd and our winner this evening, Jess Bro. How was that for your first bout? Um, it's pretty tough, eh? Like, I didn't really know what to expect coming in here, and he's a tough guy, so yeah, it was a tough one. Is there anyone you'd like to thank for, for tonight? Um, it's my corner, Joe, all the people I sparred with and training, and my Mrs. Anne out there, and Hamblin. Congratulations, bro. Everyone, a round of applause for Jess O'Brien. Oh, very happy man there, Carlo. Yeah, absolutely. I believe if you have a beer now, it's probably been a while. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so coming up after this match, we are into the semi finals of the eight man Grand Prix. We have the winner of the quarterfinal one, which was Ryan Johns, up against the winner of quarterfinal two, uh, Russell Keenan.